Isaiah 35 verse 10 is a lovely description of how it's going to be for us when Jesus returns. Yahweh's ransomed ones, that's us because we were ransomed, we were redeemed with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. They will return and come with singing to Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They will obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing will flee away. So we will have everlasting joy. Well, in this life, we do have the experience of joy, but it is always, if you could plot it on a graph, it peaks and then inevitably it goes down. You're so happy when this event or that event happens. Your joy is very great, but of course it goes down. It's an endless cycle of up and down, up and down. Whereas everlasting joy on their heads, that is, in our minds, in our experience, everlasting. Again, if you could plot that on a graph, it's not that, oh, Jesus comes back and, oh, I'm very happy and, oh, I'm, going to, I'm in the kingdom, I've been saved. Oh, joy goes up, but then it inevitably goes down. No, that joy will keep on growing. And that is the wonderful hope that we have in front of us of an experience that will not a peak and fade away. A glory that is not for a moment. Oh, Jesus has come back and we have been accepted. Oh, wonderful. But then life goes back to its norm. No, it will peak and peak and peak and go on and on forever and ever. Now we are here standing on the very frontier of what it is of what it is possible for man to imagine and to get his head around as to what our experience in God's kingdom will be like one thing is clear it is not simply about the eternity of the life that is wonderful it is the nature of that eternal life that is so wonderful this is what is in front of you and me Let's make it our absolute passion, not a hobby, not something we pick up and drop down, but absolutely our 24-7 passion of our souls, the love of our souls.